Good evening from Disney Springs. Yes. We're here for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. Homecoming. Yeah, so we're going there later. Um, but we're a little early, plus we'll probably stick around afterwards a little bit because when we come to Disney Springs we always wander. Um, so we figured we would show some of the Disney at Disney Springs. Yeah, because there are other stores that are here that are not Disney at all. Oh, there's a lot. Like, that's other Disney. vendors here. Um, but there are Disney things spread out um, between Disney Springs. Yeah, so I think eventually our plan is I would like to be able to do a walkthrough of like all of Disney Springs, but Disney Springs is massive, so that would have yeah. to be split into many neighbor, um, many videos with the different like neighborhoods. So Disney Springs, they've kind of named the different sections of it, and that's something that we could definitely do. I feel like it would be tough during the school year because we wouldn't be able to film them all at once. Like they would take some time, so maybe like over the summer we'd be able to film those and get them like to come out close together. Um, but for now, we thought we would start with. Um, the Disney at Disney Springs. So there are a handful of stores that are Disney themed, um, as well as plenty that's not. So today we're gonna try to highlight at least most of the Disney, because um, a lot of people that come here on vacation are just interested in the Disney stores. Yeah. So we'll kind of show you where those are, what they are, and what you can expect to find in them. So right behind us is World Disney. Um, that is the largest Disney store in the world. It's huge. It's a very large store. It recently got remodeled, so if you've not been to yeah. Disney World in the past year or so, is when they opened it up again with like the new look. It's really nice. I think we have showed it in some videos, but we've never like really talked about it much. Um, so yeah, we'll probably head in there. Then there's also Once Upon a Toy. Um, that's a smaller. smaller Disney store. It used to be a lot bigger than it currently is, but that's been broken up into different parts because they have the Void, which is like a VR experience. And they also have um, the Bibby Bobby Boutique over there now that took a part of what used to be Once Upon a Toy. There's um, the Pin Trading Store. There's a Star Wars and a Marvel store. Um, the Co-op, yeah, that's Disney for sure. And then there's also um, Disney Style. Yeah. So that's probably what we're gonna try to show you today. So hopefully we can get through all those, but we'll probably start right behind us at World Disney. And we'll just kind of like show different parts of the store. We probably won't be able to show you like every single item because it's always insane in there. And it's just massive. Everything that you find in the parks will be there. Yeah. Basically. If there's something like a shirt. Not really they, like park exclusive, like an Animal Kingdom shirt or like right. Hollywood Studios if they even have that. But um, most of like just like Disney, like generalized, like Disney all the World. seasonal stuff, like Halloween, Christmas merchandise. Park Life, park Life is the new series that just came out. Um, flies, but yeah, years. like an Animal Kingdom specific shirt they probably wouldn't have anywhere at Disney Springs. But the one thing that used to be park exclusive was Pandora. And they do have Pandora oh, yeah. here now. Um, so you can That's get Banshees. That, um, uh, once Upon a Toy. Yeah, so we'll show that later. Uh, but once World Disney pretty much has, for the most part, everything else. So if there was ever like a shirt or maybe a spirit jersey you wanted to get that they didn't have like your size in one of the parks, there's a good chance World of Disney has it. Yeah. And um, it seems like they kind of restock a little bit yeah, more frequently Yeah, most of the time if well. you're in like the park and there isn't a size that you're looking for at that store and you ask a cast member to go look for it, they'll mostly say like, World of Disney yeah. because they have the biggest stock. So, so we'll just kind of quickly walk through there and just show a general look at the store. We'll start with um, Park Life because that's like the first thing we're going to walk past. It's a huge And section. then they have like a whole like, hallway like room with tons of spirit jerseys and everything. Spears. So we'll just kind of do like a quick walkthrough of World Disney. And then we'll move on to whatever store is next on the on the walkway, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, we'll start here. All right, so we just came in the door and the first thing we saw is Lunar New Year merchandise, which we were just saying, I don't think Disney's ever done before. Disney World. California Adventure has like a festival, but we don't. But it is like its own pattern because it's got the castle. Over California Adventure, I think it's a different spirit jersey. I think it's like the Palarod or something. I have no idea what it looks like. I haven't really looked at pictures. But a couple new Lunar New Year merchandise items if you're here in the near future. Got some shirts, some hats, and also it's 2020 on it. Yeah, I had no idea. I thought this was all exclusive to California. I didn't know they brought all this. Interesting. And some standard price points, like most mini ears are usually around 30. Um, most phone cases are 30 as well. Yeah, $30. Um, T-shirts can range. This one is 37 with like all like the sparkles on it. 
They got some stuffed animals as well. So these big Mickey and Minis, they're $30 each. I'm sure Minis probably the same price. Yep, $30 for either of those. Um, and this is right in as you come in the store on the left. Um, so those are the doors we just came in. And then as soon as you come in on the right, this whole section is where they tend to have like the latest collection. Um, so this was where they had all the holiday merchandise and the Halloween before that. And now this is all park life. So that is what this new like design is called that they've come out with. And they have like everything you could think of with this design. They have a backpack, drawstring, they have a lounge fly. Lounge flies are always very popular here. It's got all different park icons and characters on it. And then Minnie um, wearing a dress. And they sell like that print on leggings right here. I like these lights. Yeah, they're cool. I really like the park life. I already have a couple things. Magic True. Yep, she has a magic band that has park life. These leggings are 30, or no, 40, 39. They have a different design too. Like, I think this Yeah, like a blue the one. Lounge yeah, we saw them in Epcot. But these are different. I like these better. Yeah, we literally just came from Epcot. So if you want to check out that video oh, from the R Festival, the check that out. <laughs> um, yeah, they have this polo shirt as well. Um, with the park life, but it's all pink, so it's like monotone, um, which is a little different from the button-down shirt they have, which I don't see in here. They might be sold out. I bought that the last time we were here. So I'll show it if we see it, but I'm not seeing the button-down. It was on a mannequin outside. Oh, Mickey's wearing the button-down. They don't have it for people right now, but this gives you an idea of what it looks like. This is the exact button-down that I got. And this Mickey is 22. But they have some children's clothing as well. And then... The wishables are like part of life. Yeah, we got new wishables, um, which we talked about in the last video. They're $10 for a blind bag. Hey, and wishables, you don't know what you're gonna get. It could be one of these four. Or they have the separate ones that you do know what you're buying. And right now they're park icons, which I'm a big fan of. They're coming out with Space Mountain ones too, as well, pretty soon, so that'll be exciting. New park Life Rubik's Cube. Yes, Park Life Rubik's Cubes or puzzles. Lots of Park Life and playing cards. So, lots of Park Life. Oh, the button down there over there. Okay. We'll keep going, because they got more. Here they have the Park Pals, which I know we talked about at one point. With the, the new one, right? Cheshire oh yeah, Cat Cheshire. I forget who the other one is that's new. Yeah, there's a new one that I don't remember. And they got these. Oh, this was interesting. We were looking at this in mouse gear. So it's a box with 12 days of socks. I'm like very tempted to get And each day you open it and there's a different pair of socks in there. It says it's for adult sizes 4 to 10. But it is 35, which is not bad really for 12 pairs it. of like, socks. I really need socks. <laughs> And you get like all different types of socks in it. And they have them. Oh look, they're up there. Oh yeah, yeah. I think those are all. Oh, one, two, three, four. Ooh. So that's eight of them right there. Oh, there's some more up above that it too. The yeah, so there's a pal around one. There's Tree of Life, Spaceship Earth, Mickey and Minnie. This low one is um, it looks like Sleep Beauty Castle. Then the Teacups, Small World. Ha, uh, that's X Wing. Yeah. And then way up there. Is Haunted Mansion, Pirates, and I can't see the last two. One of them looks like Space Mountain because I think it's Pluto with like a helmet. And I can't see what that short green one is. I think it's Cinderella Castle. Yeah. So I think that's all 12. That's all that you could get. So you get all that in that box of 12 socks. Very tempting. Here's the button down shirt that I got, so they do have it. With the Park Life print. They have a white t shirt with each park logo. Or Park icon. Yeah, you need to get them. And that's 35. That Here's is a leggings list. that I was thinking about. Yeah. I do like the black. Yeah, the black ones were I different. Like the black ones and then they got some ornaments as well. So plenty of park life if you're a fan of this design. We also saw this earlier today in Epcot for the first time, yes. and it is a park life I think otter box. It literally just came out like maybe today. Yeah, or like today or the day before. So it's clear and then like fades to blue with the yeah. park life design as well. So you have all four parks on there. Yeah. It's really nice. It's awesome. And then right after Park Life, you have all the different Starbucks mugs. Now each park sells their own, but here at Disney Springs you can buy all four parks. Yes. They also kind of are floating between two different designs right now, so they're... The newer ones. Yeah, so the new ones are like the park icon, 
with things like hidden within right without or throughout and then here's the old one for Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Where it has like different icons with a Mickey. All the new ones have a rim, a different color rim around. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, like I have this Epcot one. Amanda got it for me. So it has Mickey dressed up as a dream finder and then you have Figment living with the land and all the different elements of Epcot. And the new one takes kind of like a similar idea but puts it in the shape of Spaceship Earth. So. I mean, it's cool. I like the colors. Me. Yeah, I like all of them. Like all the Disney Starbucks mugs are always really nice. This one has rim. Um, <laughs> they have the new Magic Kingdom one, but I don't see the old. Lantern. Yeah, it's got Tangled. I don't see the new, or the, I don't see the old yeah. um, Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. And then the new Hollywood Studios one is in the shape of Tower of Terror. That's not cool. really focusing on it, but that's what it is. And these are each 25. And then they have a clear plastic one as well, also 25, and it has all four parks on it. I got this one in California, so I don't have Disney. Oh, we found an old Magic Kingdom. So it looks like they have all of them, new and old style, except for Hollywood Studios. All right, so this next part that we're looking down is gonna be all different lounge flies and spirit jerseys, sweatshirts, all the new like color trends. So right there they have the red with two Ds named after Captain Red from Pirates. This Pixar Spirit jersey just came out. I love that. So this is new. That's a need. It's really nice. <laughs> I. And they have this really cool Pixar lounge fly. <laughs> See, everything is usually kind of like coordinated by color. Aerial, right? Like some. I think it's they, like they called it after. coral or something. Yeah. I don't know. And they got Briar Rose gold ears. Bell of the Bronze is one of the newest colors as well. Got a whole wall of lounge flies back there. Got Mickey and Minnie. Just the standard black spirit jersey, which I have from Disneyland, but they have it here as well. And all the spirit jerseys, I'm pretty sure, are 70 um, or 65. They kind of vary, but I think they went up to 70. You found something? Oh. This lounge fly? Yeah. Oh, it has Mickey. Mickey and then Minnie on the side. Oh, that's cool. And I like the shorts. Like yeah. I feel like that'll become pretty popular once one railway, railway opens. True. I got purple back here. I That's the that. Briar Rose Gold Spirit jersey that matched the ears we just saw. Oh yes, they are 70 now. 69.99. This is like the knitted sweater one. I know something funny. They're starting to sell NBA experience stuff in <gasps> here because it's so oh, unpopular. Oh no. We were gonna try to show you the um on the video, we we're gonna try to show the Disney merchandise you could get over at NBA. But, <laughs> looks like they're bringing some of it over here, so we don't have to go over there. So yeah, they now sell an NBA Mickey hat and a lounge fly. Do you think that they actually sell it here, or they're just... It's oh, like yeah, you're right. I bet it's trying to get people to go over there. Yeah. It's like a display. But yeah. They do sell some Disney stuff over there, so if you want Disney basketball stuff, they have a lot of that over there. This is there. a really cool bag, I'm not gonna lie. We've been in the store, it is a nice store, I've just never I been in the actual... I wish I liked basketball enough to like, <laughs> get that, because that would be really cool to Yeah, get. it's like textured like a basketball, so yeah. it's pretty nice. And they have a ton of ears over here as well. Lots of ear hats. So here they have a couple of the men's spear jerseys, the blue and green. This one just came out, the Star Wars one, it's Hawk. So it's got the... AT-ATs at the bottom. This one's really cool. Yeah. And the back just has pop on it with more AT-ATs. Literally, I think that this is like, it's becoming more popular for the spirit jerseys to have like designs at the bottom. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah. I like it. Um, and then oh. this one just restocked. Baby Yoda's been so hard to find. I think I have to get it. And they this. just brought it back. I think you do too. I'm gonna get it. And they have <laughs> the Star Wars sweatshirt as well. So. There is no shortage of spirit jersey options here, that's for sure. Okay, so now we've kind of made it towards the middle. And we're kind of doing like a quick walk by. There is a ton of stuff we are not showing. Yeah. But kind of in that back corner is where you're going to find all the stuffed animals. And then towards this right side of this walkway is most of like the toys. They have more wishables back there. And then here in the middle is going to be a lot of the different like women's sweatshirts and yeah so this is new this just came out so it looks like they now have a little display for the main attraction merchandise so each month there's a new set coming out it's all themed to mini and it's a different attraction so january with space mountain i think they do have more over in the space mountain gift shop oh yeah i'm sure they had um they have this mug they have magic band they have the stuffed animal there was a magic band there was a 
cookie jar, a mug in the shape of Space Mountain. I don't think those have to do with mini. They were just for the anniversary. We only have this in the mug here in that doll. Oh, it says a new plush bag, pin set mug, and Minnie Mouse headband. Oh, yeah. So they the have a. Has yeah, like. This on it. Which I've it's been like wanting. weird because it's been asymmetrical. <laughs> This is fun to play with. Not really it's like two on the one side and one. And like it's, oh. I'm, it confuses Wait, me, but. That's weird. I, I yeah. never noticed that. I don't know why. But yeah, so January is Space Mountain. Next month will be Pirates. I don't know if they have the ears here. If we can find them, we'll show them to you. Back here, it's like the very back of this large room is where it's pretty much all princess stuff, but a lot of Frozen right now. Yeah. And then over here to the left of that is always Pixar. Which right now they have, they just came out with this huge yeah, there's like a whole new set of Pixar stuff, and it's really nice. Like they have this really cool sweatshirt or sweat jacket, I guess. The spirit jerseys that we just saw. There's socks back there. All different Pixar stuff, and it's all called the World of Pixar. Um, they have this drawstring bag, which I saw, which I'm a fan of, but I have a lot of bags, so I don't need one. But yeah, the shirt is really cool. That's what is. It? That does look like Tower of Terror. Yeah, like missing something. Oh look, there's yeah, the tree. The castle and the tree. So it's oh it's the world of Pixar, Pixar. at World at, at Disney, Disney World. World. Okay. Interesting. That's cute. Yeah, because Spaceship Earth and Spaceship Earth. the castle's okay. on it too. I was confused. Interesting. I don't think the park icons have been on anything else. But no. that shirt they are. That one shirt. And then lots of other Pixar back here. You got Nemo, Coco, Cars. I love that Toy story, story back there. It's a really cool spirit jersey. I think you need it before we go back to Pixar or uh, to Lamplight Lounge oh my God, in yes. California. But that is kind of like a generic walkthrough. There's this store, yeah, as you can see, this room goes all the way back there. There's a whole jewelry section with Alex and Ani. Back here, if you go past the cash register to the right, is where you find all the mugs. Here they have lo uh, luggage and suitcases. They also have more luggage all the way at the other end, right? Next to yeah, the and the front room. Are, oh, yeah, we didn't go in like the rest of that front room when we walked in. We just showed Park Life. So there's a lot more in here that we did not show, but pretty much anything you'll see in the parks that's not park specific, you'll probably find it here. Okay, we are now in the Marketplace Co-op. This is probably my favorite part of Disney Springs. I do like this store a lot. So it's like all different little mini stores in here. So this is, we left World of Disney and we went right past um, Ghirardelli. Yeah. Um, and then the co-op is the next thing on your right. And they have that like flat, what is it, Ariba? Yeah, the, yeah, the glass store. That we walk. a lot of Disney stuff in there. Too. They do have a lot of Disney like glass sculptures. Um, so right here is where they sell those um, commemorative bricks because they're ripping up all of the bricks that have been outside the entrance of Magic Kingdom for years and the transportation ticket center. So because they're removing those, you can now buy a souvenir brick if you want to that Keep the memory of them. Me. <laughs> and then in here is D-Tech On Demand. So this is where you can print your own magic band or phone case. I have gotten many magic bands from here. This one's from Disneyland, but I got it Yeah, from this is from D-Tech in Disneyland. We've they talked the about them design. before. I remember in um, our Hollywood Studios video, I talked about getting a droid phone case that I showed. It's the same thing that they have here. So they have multiple locations. So they have it here in Disney Springs. They have it over in Hollywood Studios in the launch bay and in the dark room, which is the front, the store in the front of the park. And they have it here. So, oh, and also um, Space Mountain. I don't know if Space I Mountain. just said that or not, but it's in Space Mountain. It is in Hollywood Studios, and then it's here. So lots of places to get some custom phone cases, and they have a lot of choices. <laughs> And they sell otter boxes here, otter box cases as well. But I don't see the park life because that one like just came out. Oh, I didn't even know. Probably. So, oh yeah, they, they have it right there at the bottom. So. Oh, and I, we haven't even mentioned that like castle one. Yeah, we talked about it because it came out when we were in Disneyland. Yeah, they have it. Did, did I know that they had a Christmas one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So lots of otter box cases. So the next little store inside of the co-op here after D-Tech On Demand is Disney Tales, which is a pet store. So they, yeah, they sell all different little like harnesses, collars. They sell spirit jerseys and little t-shirts. So all these different spirit jerseys they sell. And t-shirts, you can match your dog. They have some like food and water bowls, some dog toys, and little mats, and treats, all different stuff back here. 
a little like mat for their bowls. And some little dog beds. And then some more spear jerseys for some larger, larger dogs. Yeah, this is, a, oh, and they have little mini ears if you want to put mini ears on your dog as well. <laughs> Lots of fun stuff. After Disney Tales is the dress shop. So here they have all these different, like, fancier dresses that a lot of people like to wear for, like, Dapper Day and those types of events. All, like, Disney-themed dresses. They also saw some Doonies in here as well. So cute. So back there they have a tiki room. And they have like a flowered one with the matching bags and headbands and little umbrellas with the tiki room one. A lot of fun stuff in here. And they have a park life dress back there. <laughs> and just some doonies back there as well. So this is in the back of the co-op, so behind the dress shop. And this is the Wonderground Gallery. They do have some tents set up for the Wonderground Gallery at the Art Festival. Yeah. So if any of this looks a little familiar, probably saw it over at Epcot. <laughs> but lots of artwork back here. All different Disney art. What is that? It's a painting with all the women of Star, Star Wars. Wars. That's cool. Awesome. Wow. So yeah, they always got some good stuff back here. Lots of prints and postcards and canvases, all different types of art. Yeah. I like all the figments. This is the last one you'll find on the right. And we're now working our way back to the front. And it's called Centerpiece. So they have more like home good type stuff. Different like dishes and measuring cups, rolling pins, picture frames, toothpick holders. I like this. AKA shot glasses. That's cool. Mugs and water bottles. Aprons, oven mitts, all different types of like home type stuff here, I guess. And then kitchen. more stuff back there. Yeah, I'll have to, like kitchenware. So that's all in centerpiece. And then the first one on the right when you come in the co-op. So next to centerpiece is 28 in Main. So kind of like how the um, dress shop and Disney style was more like geared towards women. 28 in Main is pretty much for the most part all men's clothing. Yes. Um, so it's all different t-shirts, sweatshirts, vests, jackets. For the most part geared towards men. Lots of polo shirts, some long sleeve shirts, and the men's spirit jerseys here again, which we saw over at World of Disney. I don't know what this sweatshirt is. Yeah, these are all new sweatshirts. I didn't see this in um, World of Disney, but this is. Yeah, I didn't see it. I saw the t shirt, yeah. but not the sweatshirt. And some long sleeve shirts. And then usually up here they have some ties as well. Oh, yeah. I do like looking at the ties. I love Disney ties. I have a couple. <gasps> they bow ties now. I think that's, <laughs> that's kind. Of, that's cool. new. I like a Haunted Mansion bow tie. Yeah. yeah. I like so, the monorail. Yeah, that one's one of my favorites. I don't have that one. But that is it for the Marketplace Co-op. We're now directly across from D Tech On Demand again. All right, so we are now by the Candy Cauldron, which is where you can get all different Disney desserts and snacks. So they have all different caramel apples right here. And they are so good. Candy company or whatever. Yeah, all that's inside. Um, I've had the source for Mickey apple up there from the confectioner on Main Street. It's amazing. But yeah, they have also have all the goofy candy companies as well. Um, so lots of good stuff in here. And now we're gonna head next door to the Marvel Superhero Headquarters. So we're now in the Marvel Superhero Headquarters. And there's all different Avengers stuff in here. I pick up that for dinner. So that might be the sound you're hearing. But there's also Guardian stuff in here. We got Captain Marvel. And this is next door to the Candy Cauldron. So all in a row and we're gonna be heading to Star Wars next. All different like play sets. A bunch of lounge flies. They got some Funko Pops right here. And some phone cases. And then back here, they have this um, kind of custom air, like custom product, I guess. I don't even know what to call this. Um, custom gauntlet. So it reminds me a lot of the Build Your Own Lightsaber. So like you start with this gauntlet right here and then you put all these different pieces on it. So you can pick your favorite superhero and design a gauntlet after that. 
So they have Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, Spider-Man, all different stuff here. And that's pretty much it for this store. <laughs> Zach has been demoted for our cameraman because he has the I hiccups hiccup. and they're quite loud. So let's move on. <laughs> yes. So you can wear with a magnet. Yep, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. So, this is the outside of the headquarters and Marvel headquarters. And then right next door is the Star Wars Galactic Outpost. Looks very exciting it's in, there. Crowded in there. Yeah. It's much bigger than the Marvel store. There a lot of stuff they sell here is pretty simple. Similar to World of Disney. Yeah. But there's some stuff I guess like you can Like shirts find. and stuff. Like the whole like lightsaber thing over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Just like the golf mm -hmm. in the Marvel store. So. A lot of conspiracy jerseys. So they have the Hoth jersey that we saw over Yeah, it's back Disney. there. They have stuff from episode 9. Yeah. Bunch of Star Wars shirts. like that DJ Rex shirt. DJ Rex shirt, yeah. I think they sell that at, I'm pretty sure they have that at the Droid Depot. Maybe uh, not. Uh, no, it's a different DJ Rex shirt. Uh, I know what you're talking about. But that's really cool. That's I'll awesome. Definitely get that. Yeah, I think you do. Big Rex fans over here. Yeah. How much it is? 25, that's actually not the best. That's really cheap. Okay, so there's the Hoth Spirit Jersey that we saw in World of Disney. Basically the same things. Nothing very different. We should head to the other side of the store. Maybe there's something. They have pins and gift cards coming up over there. The phone cases, the magic bands. Maybe, yeah, they have some Baby Yoda things here. And then the Build Your Own Lightsaber station. You. Oh? It's just the one design. Where? Oh. And a singular design of Baby Yoda. I think this lounge fly is cute. But yeah. This is a lot of Star Wars in a very small space. Oh, and it's like Galaxy's Edge. So you don't have to go to Galaxy's Edge. And the next door is the Disney style store. We'll go in there too. Yeah, they're like right next to each other. It's like a little strip mall. <laughs> but yeah, that's a quick overview of the store. Wall to wall Star Wars. And there's some art which is pretty cool. Solo. Over here. But yeah. That's it. Literally right next to Star Wars is Disney style. And I don't even know how to explain the store. It's kind of like... A lot of your journeys. More like the trendy stuff. It's like focused more towards women. Yeah. Um, but they have all like all the spirit jerseys, all of the lounge flights. It's okay. All the stuff that came out with basketball. Yeah. So this is I'm guessing all Pixar. Yeah, this is like yeah. the Pixar area. Which it used to not be Pixar. But they just changed it. Like There's a what? Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I want to record you having the hiccups to make it my ringtone. <laughs> He's ashamed. He's walking away from me. Okay. <laughs> He's like this. It's okay, babe. It's okay. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, this is new, right? <laughs> this is new. Um, you did. What did they call it? It's like big it's basketball. basketball. Okay. It's like a jersey, basically. It's like a jersey okay. dress. Yeah, they have shorts. It's all like basketball jersey material. Yeah, they, that's pretty. It's like a sweater. And a, I guess a dress? Or yeah. long tank top. Cute little photo op. 
over here, the teacup. But yeah, literally every single like collection that you could think of is in here. They have a bunch of like 90s um, stuff. Here's like VHS stuff, merch, which is really cool. We got some DuckTales. Okay. I like DuckTales. And they have a bunch of onesies back there, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's like the Briar Rose collection. And I just thought that was a real person, but it's a mannequin. Love that. That hat is part of Park Life. But I don't see much Park Life over here. So I don't know if they have it in here or not. What else? Wow, there's a lot. More lounge flies. Ooh, phone cases. And a lot of leggings. So any leggings that you want to buy, they're here. This whole collection with like the I Live in Fantasyland. I'm such an Aurora. But yeah, a bunch of these. Also, let's appreciate the lanterns in this store. I want that in my house. But yeah, it's just an overall pretty cute store. Skyliner button down. Right now, Skyliner. Skyway. Yeah. <laughs> There's, this could be for men. This is like the one thing that's in here that could. This section. Yeah. Or I guess not those, but. Well, those. Mickey maybe. Maybe the Skyway. Space, Space Mountain sweatpants. The socks. That's really cool. I like these this. button downs are 60. Yeah, I like these button downs. Sweatpants. Really cute. 45. 45 for the sweatpants. But yeah. Also. I've noticed that these are new, the tie-dye, like, kind of like, painting looking. They're also 45. Um, but they also have the matching sweater, which I think is sold out. I haven't seen that. Yeah, I got that one the day it came out, I think. But they're not there. They have the pants, though. Which is sad. Oh my god, I thought that mannequin was real. Trust no one. <laughs> Trust no one. All right, so we're now back in the town center, which is kind of the center part of Disney Springs, back by where the bus loops are, if you're staying at a Disney resort. Um, so not quite over by the west side, where we went into the Marvel and Star Wars stores. And this store is where they have a lot of Loungefly, Junie and Burke, Alex and Ani, and all that kind of stuff. So it's more like accessories and bags and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's all located in here. So it is also Disney themed, but not like your typical Disney merchandise. They have a lot of Pandora beads. There is also a separate Pandora store, but they have all the different Disney Pandora in here, Junie and Burke, Loungefly, all that fun stuff. So, lots going on in here. So, this is one of the Aristocats. Back there on the wall, if you see those pink back there. Um, yeah, it's, it's the park life that Amanda has. And they have Loungefly that we've seen before, Bell the Bronze, Rose Gold. It's Alex and Ani right here. Oh, they have the, um, Collector's Ears, part of the collection series. A lot of different stuff back here. This is a, um, it's a small roll bag. I remember for Christmas, I haven't seen that before. Oh yes, and the Hatbox Ghost. I think that's a launch play, right? And there's another Harmony launch play next to it, I haven't seen that one before. And some more Alex and Ani. Some more other like jewel Disney jewelry down there. And then some mini lounge fly backpacks. Some mini ears. And then all different jewelry in the window here as well. Discounts do not apply. No discounts on the jewelry apparently. <laughs> they made that clear. Alright, so the next store that we have is going to be Once Upon a Toy. 
which is pretty small. So there's a whole store right here. Most stuffed animals, um, but we'll kind of quickly show what they have in here. Probably pretty similar to what we've seen over at World Disney and other stores. So right here in the middle is some frozen stuff. Wishables. All different stuffed animals here on this wall. And then some more wishables that we saw all over in World Disney. You, if there are new wishables that are released and they are sold out at World well, Disney, you can come over here and they'll have them. Yeah, we've done that a bunch of times because like the day they come out, it's sometimes hard to find the newest set because um, World Disney will sell pretty quick. But you can usually find them over here if World Disney doesn't have the specific set you're looking for. Oh yeah, I just skipped that. We'll go over there. Yeah, this was something unique we did want to show about this store is that they do sell the Pandora stuff that otherwise you can only find in Animal Kingdom. Two for 99, that's Two for 99 Banshees. So yeah, if you want a Banshee and you're not, you don't have a ticket to go into Animal Kingdom, they have a handful of the colors to pick from here. I don't think, they don't have all the colors, but it looks like they have most of them. Yeah, Night Blossom's the newest one, but they don't have all of them. They have one red. There's two of every color. There's two green, two blue, two red, two yellow, two purple. I don't see any purple. No. And I only see one red. No, no, there's two red. There's no yellow, but they have most of them. So a small selection of Pandora stuff in here, which is nice if you're not gonna be heading over to Animal Kingdom and you want something from Pandora. Other than that, pretty much just some more stuffed animals, a few puzzles and toys, but pretty small store since The Void and Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique took over a bit of what used to be Once Upon a Toy. So we just left Once Upon a Toy. So right back there behind the carousel is the um, Christmas store. So that is a Disney store, um, but we're not going to head back and show that one on this video. There's also the Art of Disney and a few other Disney related stores. But we're gonna head into here at Pin Traders. But if Art of Disney or the Christmas store are stores that you would like to see, definitely leave us a comment down below and we can come back and film some more stores here around Disney Springs. But here in Pin Traders, kind of what the name suggests, you can find all different types of pins in here, as well as a lot of Funko Pops. Yes. So all the Disney Pops that release at the parks, they have Captain Red back there, the Skyliner, as well as the Matterhorn. You can typically find all the park exclusive Pops here. Basically every single pin you would think of is like here too. Lots of pins. They have the Splash Mountain Pops, more Matterhorns and Skyliners, ton of Captain Reds back there. Yeah, these are more like generic pops and aren't necessarily exclusive to the parks, um, but they sell them here as well. Typically also when a new pop releases and it's going to be sold at Disney Springs, this is the store it'll come to. Yeah, they have some Frozen 2 ones, BB-8, more caps, more reds. They have all different Star Wars ones here. Oh yeah, Mandalorian. They have a pressed penny machine right here. Some mini ears on the wall back there. And then lots of different like lanyards and starter sets for pins. As well as some pouches. So if you want to carry like a park ticket around or anything like that, they sell some of those here as well. A lot of lanyard choices for your pin trading. Oh yeah, and then a whole wall of magic bands. I totally forgot they sold those here. So it looks like they have some older Magic Bands and some newer ones. All the older ones are still in that plastic wrapping and they've slowly been switching over to this packaging where the Magic Band is kind of laid out flat. But they still have a bunch of old ones as well. So if you're looking to purchase a Magic Band, they do have a lot of choices here as well. And some Magic Band Keepers. They have the Park Life one, which is one of the newer ones. The Tomorrowland one, the Lavender. Oh yeah, it's got like um, People Mover, Space Mountain, After Orbiter. Um, can't really get closer to it because there's a bunch of people standing here, but lots of Magic Bands here in this section of the store. I haven't seen the 2020 pass holder one yet. It's right there. Oh, uh, with Minnie? Yeah. I think they have a couple different ones. There's Mickey and there's a Goofy one as well. And then... Here, this case is where they'll always be showing the current limited edition pins. 
as well as limited edition Magic Bands. That is the 2020 Valentine's Day Magic Band. And then all the limited edition ones in this case. Oh yeah, there's a figment one. I like that. And then all the, like the mystery blind bag pins and some boxes as well. And then a Marvel press penny machine. And then I think we are back to where we began. So, lots of pins here and pin traders. <laughs> All right, and then this is gonna be the last store we're gonna show in today's video. Um, we kind of quickly mentioned earlier with like the Christmas store and everything, there are some other Disney stores. This is not every single Disney store at Disney Springs, but we are kind of showing the majority of them that sell the bulk of Disney items here. But Trendy does pretty much sell, for the most part, things that we've seen yes, in the other stores. Have, like, their own, like, they have so many cups. Okay. Um, other brands. Yeah, like they do have some like, like more generic clothing that's like Disney. Um, yes, this is another store that's more geared towards like women's clothing. Yeah, mostly. And it's actually connected to the co-op, so we went into all the different sections of the co-op later. That is all the way at that far end of the store. It's connected directly into that. But they sell some spirit jerseys in here, some lounge flies. They do say like pair things with like the Disney merch. So you see like they have like this button up on like in like the sweater and then it'll pair it. Yeah, so it's like their suggested outfit with like the pants and everything and then the hat. They also sell the windbreakers, which we have seen in other stores, but I don't think they actually showed them yet. So they have all these Disney windbreakers. They've been pretty popular, and they have a bunch of those. That's the Space Mountain one. Didn't they just come out with a new Space Mountain? There's a purple Space Mountain, yeah. but I think that one's only sold in, in Magic Mountain, Kingdom. Because yeah. this purple one's a purple wall, and this is the Pixar one. And they have the Jungle Cruise one back there as well. But yeah, this is kind of like a combination of Disney stuff and non-Disney. Some backpacks, some shirts. Got some socks back here. More leggings. There's definitely some things that I don't think we saw in Walt Disney, but like all the leggings and shirts. Yeah. But between the two, a bit of it has been yeah seen somewhere else. It just gives you more opportunities if you can't find something at one place. You'll probably find it somewhere else. Like a size, yeah. Right, yeah, definitely for clothing. And then here they have some like the Norway like perfumes that they sell in Epcot. You can buy those here as well. And some more mini stuff back here, some more lounge flies. I think these are all new for Rock the Dots. This is the newest lounge fly. And then some of the more like retro clothing, more Disney socks. And then that right there is the pet store at the co-op. Disney Tales, so that brings us right back into where we were earlier. And that is it for Trendy. Alright, so we just headed out of Trendy, we're standing across the path from it. But that is going to be today's last store. So we went into most of the Disney stores. There are a couple. Um, there's also like the Goofy Candy Company store. So we didn't show everything, so don't think that was like the entirety of Disney and Disney Springs, but it's a bulk. Another Star Wars um, trading post, yeah. But I think it's like pretty much the same store that we saw. So we didn't show that. But there is the Christmas store, there's the art store, the candy store, so there is more. Um, but we kind of showed like the majority of the stores that sell like Disney merchandise. Um, but if there's any specific stores you would like to see in a future video, um, definitely leave that down below in a comment. And we'll try to come back and maybe show some of the non Disney stuff since Disney Springs is a lot more than just Disney stores. Yeah, they have a lot of like big brands too. Like they have um, like Papiana's flip flops, which I know a lot of yeah, there's um, Sephora, Under Armour, Princess Tommy Bahamas. There's a ton of stores here. Yeah. There's also a million different food options as well. Yeah. Um, so we could totally have a food, video, uh, food option video. Um, but yeah, leave us some suggestions or requests if there's anything specific you'd like to see. And we'll be back at Disney Springs. We're here all the time. Um, but hopefully this is helpful if you're here coming on vacation and you want to come to Disney Springs for Disney shopping. Um, this hopefully gave you an idea about like where most of them are. Yeah, um, but that is going right, definitely, or at least what they have right now in the end of January in 2020 is constantly changing. 
Um, but hopefully that gives you an idea of like if you're looking for a new spirit jersey, where you might find it, um, or something along those lines. Um, but that's gonna be it for today. Um, yeah, so earlier today we were actually at Epcot, so if you want to check out that art festival video, that'll show you what we did this morning. It was morning. a lot of fun, yeah. It was. Um, and then tomorrow I think we're going to be heading over to Universal. So if you want to see what some Universal merchandise looks like, maybe we'll have some of that in our next video. Not as much as here, but... No, not like Disney Springs, but yeah, City Walk's definitely more dining than food. Yeah. Uh, or more dining than stores. There we go. But, um, yeah. But that is probably our plan, so if you want to check out that, definitely subscribe to our channel and that'll probably be our next video up. So that's gonna be it for Disney Springs for now. Um, but until we're back, um, keep an eye out for some other videos and we will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching.